Hey, how's everybody doing? My name is Paulie. Today I'm going to tell you a little story about microbiomes, biofilms, and my man Bobby. Bobby's body was a nice neighborhood. He kept it in pretty good shape and well fed. It was home to trillions of microbes. Oh, sure, there was the occasional troublemaker who snuck in through a paper cut or on a piece of Chinese food, which was past his prime. But between the immune system and the good microbes who called Bobby home, those guys never got very far. It was never nothing the local immune system couldn't handle. It was a healthy microbiome. Different species of bacteria and fungus living together in peace for the good of everyone. Like I said, it was a nice neighborhood. But one day, this tough staff hood comes to town, but he was no ordinary hood. He was a wise guy. He would even figured out how to resist methicillin with a mutated gene he picked up on the street. In the past, the local immune system could have taken this guy out, especially since they came heavy with some antibiotics, but all they did was slow him down a little. By the time they came to take him in, he had built a gang, a big gang, and not just some little clones of himself like some two-bit case of grade school strep. He'd been recruiting. He was working with other species of bacteria, and even teamed up with the fungal clans, species who usually didn't cause any trouble, saw an opportunity to make good, and turned to doing bad. And before we knew it, they'd built a biofilm. They'd anchored into the city's plumbing and built a tough extracellular matrix. The white blood cells couldn't crack it, and the antibiotics only took the shingles off the roof. And of course, the fungi just laughed that off because antibiotics can't touch them. It was a fortress, and there was no one weapon in the arsenal what was gonna take it out. Bobby tried to get some outside help. A doctor took a sample and tried to grow it in the cultures, but when the gang hit the petri dish, the fungi just laid low and stayed out of sight. Most of the bacteria did the same, except this one little upstart species who only accounted for like 2% of the gang. They targeted him, and the biofilm barely noticed. Things were going from bad to worse. Biofilms were being built in more parts of town, and it was bringing down the whole neighborhood. But then Bobby's doctor decided to try something new. He sent a sample to Microgen Diagnostics. The bacteria and fungi tried to stay quiet and wait for the heat to die down like they did in the petri dish, but Microgen was a step ahead of these guys. They lined them up and ID'd them based on their DNA. Not only did Microgen finger the perps in the gang by name, they also figured out who was the big shots and who was the low germs on the totem pole. And what brought the biofilm hideout crashing down was their ability to identify antibiotic resistance genes. This big germ father tried to pass himself off as ordinary staff, but they saw right through that and found out that he was MRSA. They'd even ID'd the fungi who joined the gang. Once the treatment was able to take out the entire foundation, the biofilm was busted wide open, and the white blood cells were able to clean up the mess. Thanks to Microgen Diagnostics, Bobby was a nice neighborhood again. Hey, you want to learn some more? Of course you do. Go check out microgendx.com. Tell them I sent you. Be like, hey, you know that little blue germ? He sent me. Paulie the Probiotic. Yeah, and they know me.